D2C was founded in 1951, and it was founded by a, a group of folks that live in the communities that we still serve today to very specifically provide telecommunications or telephone service where it wasn't available otherwise. Just like many cooperatives across this nation, DTC was formed, neighbors helping neighbors. Um, it's always been about doing what's best for each other and for the community. And that's completely significant, not only from the outset of the company, but even until today. The mission has been and always will be centered around serving the communities, making the quality of life better here where we serve, uh, where a lot of times other companies won't come serve. It's even more important now. I mean, we were bought by a, a bigger company about three months, four months ago. So we have a lot of video conferences back and forth with the corporate, uh, with their other plants. We now have three video conferencing systems. Uh, we do town hall meetings. So all three have to be online at the same time with video and audio. Because of those broadband, those services, I mean, it allows us to be able to do that without any, any hiccup. DTC Fiber is here at Huff and & Puff and it is great. Now the internet helps with tendering loads. So how that works is we get a bing and we have so long in order to get that load. Right when that load comes in, we have to have our internet up to speed in order to be able to bid that load and get it in order for us to get it before other customers get it. So. DTC actually approached us, I guess, earlier in the year and asked if we would be interested in using the fiber service and obviously we were because we, tr we try to use the fastest uh, broadband possible that, that DTC offers and just the nature of the business because if, if it's not fast then it slows down patient care so we want to be able to offer the fastest service available. Whether it's getting a prior approval for a, patient, a procedure that the patient needs at the hospital or getting a drug prior authorization from a insurance company, the, the nurses, the staff, they use the internet research anytime they need to Google something on the latest treatment for a ailment, they, they are able to use that here in the office as well. We have a lot of um, dual enrollment classes uh, where kids are, you know, using, they're, they're getting high school credit, they're getting college credit. Uh, of course, that requires, you know, internet because they're doing that. Something huge this year that we, that we took on was, you know, all of our students now have a Chromebook, one-to-one -one device. So you can imagine uh, the, the, the internet uh, that we, the, the speeds and the capabilities that we have to have on a daily basis for that to, you know, to work and to operate correctly. So, We have several web-based programs that we use from our checkoffs in the mornings, we have training that we do online, and our patient reports and our fire reports are all online. Without DTC internet, we would not be able to perform those tasks. We got the biggest grant that we ever received in Smith County ever. Uh, it was a $1 million site development grant. One of the things we had to turn in, there's a document called a Certificate of Public Purpose and Necessity. Within that, it talks about utilities, it talks about water, it talks about sewer, it talks about electric, it talks about fiber. All those things are important to any industry in this age that we live in. That's one of the questions they're going to ask you. So DTC has been really good in providing those kinds of information. But our goal would be that we have higher paying jobs, higher tech jobs, and that's what our goal is with this. This rural area, to have the telephone systems and the internet that they have is, is, very, is very good. Uh, I live in a different county, a bigger county, and live in the country, you know, two miles off the main highway, and I have neither one of those. So just to give you a perspective. Some of the larger companies will not put that internet service out in smaller areas like this. And we rely upon DTC to fill that gap for us. If it were not for uh, the DTCs of the world, uh, I don't know that we would be where we are today. Uh, we still have challenges. Everything is not perfect in Smith County. It's not perfect in, you know, in Tennessee, but it's a lot better than it could be. Mm -hmm.